so many people in the community have showed support for Officer Ritter's family and fellow officers, including today as two young boys in Brooklyn found a way to help. News 5 photojournalist Dave Cullivine shows you how. What do we got going on here today? We're having a lemonade stand. Hello, fellas. Hello. Hi. Thank you, guys. <laughs> They're raising money for. Hi there. Thank you for doing this. Officer Ritter's family. All drinks and snacks are one dollar. There's twenty five. Wow. <laughs> That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven dollars. More than the WNBA has made <laughs> in twenty eight years. Man, these kids are. <laughs> Yo, we gotta we gotta have the WNBA brass and commissioner and the big wigs of WNBA meet up with these kids, man. Thank At you. least as a donation. Okay. Thank you so you much. Know, they were gonna be out here to raise money for a food truck, but when they found out that he passed away, they wanted to do it for his family instead. There are some good things about this stand. Hello. Hi, how are you? I have a bunch of change for you too. No, not even trying to be funny. I promise I'm not trying to be funny. But that's more than the WNBA has made in 28 years. Not even trying to be funny. Literally, that's more than the WNBA has made in 28 years. This is awesome. You guys are doing this. Can we get one of the kiwi strawberries? Thank you. You're welcome. It means a lot to us to help out. Thank you. Here you go. Thank you for the support. You getting a good turnout so far? Yeah. You have a uh, lemonade? Yeah. Do you want a band? Yeah, some good stuff. Well, I appreciate all you guys are doing out here to help us, okay? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You take care, okay? Probably be back and see you tomorrow, too. Yes. We're going to get some other officers to come out to see you. Uh, it's good to see all the support. So we didn't expect it. So here you go. That's it's really nice. Thanks for doing this, guys. I'm just gonna give you money. Obviously, we're here to support young here you go. men or are having a. These must be their racist fans. These are this is this is this is their version. They could yeah they could teach the WNBA how to deal with their racist fans, man. I don't see them chewing out their racist fans. They just taking their money, man. You know. Taking their money and letting them enjoy the product, man. I'm like a fundraiser for a fallen officer. I'm a retired Cleveland police officer myself. Let me do the cream soda one, man. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It means a lot. It means everything to us. I have $2 for you. Well, thank you. And $2 for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Nice to know that we got the support of uh, the community behind us. Keep doing what you're doing. I got a donation for you. I just want to say thank you. Thank you for everybody who's showing up, and, and the boys are really excited. They're doing a great thing for the fallen police officer. That's just heartwarming. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. You guys are heroes, too. And they even thanking their customers, man. They're thanking their new customers. <laughs> man, listen, we got to set up a meeting between uh, Kathy Engelbert and uh, all the directors and executives at WNBA with these kids, man, because they could teach them a thing or two, man. WNBA will lose $40 million this season. And its investors are growing impatient. So not only are they being out-earned by a lemonade stand, lemonade stands all across the country, but they're losing to the tune of $40 million a year. Yikes. Well, the WNBA is selling, is getting sellout arenas. For the finals between the New York Liberty and Minnesota Lynx, the league's owners will not be making a return on their investment for the foreseeable future. Sources close to the situation said the NBA owns nearly 60 percent of the league. When one combines the NBA owners personal stakes in WNBA teams and WNBA itself, the amount rises to 75 percent. A source with direct knowledge of the number said the W the NBA team owners have invested hundreds of millions in the WNBA since 1996. Woo! Yikes. The WNBA owes the NBA so much 
We won't see any windfall for years, an NBA team exec told the Post. This season, the WNBA will lose $40 million, a bit better than the $50 million forecast and reported by several media outlets months ago, but still a loss, sources said. Starting in the 2026 season, the WNBA will get up to $2.2 billion over 11 years as part of a new basketball media contract. That means likely at least a $100 million annual increase from what the WNBA currently makes from national media contracts, which is around $60 million. WNBA is also set to expand its regular season and playoff schedule to generate more revenue. But the players are expected to opt out of the current collective bargaining agreement contract by November 1st deadline. And if they do, that means salaries are likely to rise, which would eat into that potential $60 million. 2026 profit by the league. The $100 million in television revenue turning <laughs> the projected $40 million loss into a $60 million gain. Okay. So, they owe the NBA hundreds of millions of dollars. As soon as they got popping, they their first inclination wasn't to pay back the NBA. That's like a dude owe you some money. And he like, all right, man, I got you, I got you, man. I'm about to play this number, man. And when I and if I hit this number, I'm gonna give you your money. And then he hit the number, ghost you, and go to the mall. <laughs> Take his chick to the mall, go shopping instead of paying you your money back. That's what the WNBA is doing to the NBA. Yeah, man, WNBA is so ungrateful, man. They didn't even say, look, man, we got it popping this year. We're going to give you a small little, just an act of courtesy, just a courtesy. Because you know the NBA really, it would look so bad if the NBA was like, yo, where my money at? Yo, you know, the first year, it would be bad. NBA would get destroyed by the liberal media. So, but I think it would be just a, a good gesture for them to have come to the NBA and been like, look, man, we know y'all been holding it down for 28 years. Here's a little something just to show our appreciation. But they don't think like that. W women don't think like that. You know what I'm saying? They just don't think like that. Um, and listen, this right here is, even this is going to get these owners destroyed. Even this, because they may not get destroyed for this in particular, because this is sources and stuff like that. But if one of them puts their name on this, if one of them puts their name on this, he is going to get annihilated in the media. Um. It goes on, the article goes on to say, <laughs> we are not even getting any money from the WNBA expansion fees, the NBA team executive said. NBA owners do see money from NBA expansion fees, though. <laughs> that means when Golden State Warriors owner Joe Lacob last year agreed to pay $50 million expansion fee over 10 years to launch a WNBA team, and Raptors minority owner Larry Tenenbaum this year paid $115 million for a Toronto team <laughs> and a new practice center. None of the proceeds went to the NBA owners. <laughs> so where is that money going? Where is that money going? Kathy Engelberg and executives and with the league, because the players ain't getting any. <laughs> hey, Jareeth can't even pay her rent with the um, WNBA salary, man. Um, 
Yeah, man. Where does whatever? Some NBA owners want more transparency from NBA Commissioner Adam Silver about when they will get to see some return from the suddenly popular WNBA. New York Knicks owner James Dolan. Ah, there we go. James Dolan. James Diggity put his name on it. Now, James Dolan, he don't care, man. He got a history of not caring about all that woke stuff, man. He got a history of not being, you know, caring about getting called the istaphobe. Um, wow. It would be him, man. Uh, so New York Knicks owner James Dolan has been pushing silver behind the scenes, sources said. There's a bunch of owners who see Dolan as their hero for pressing Silver on these questions, but Silver is not giving us any answers. The NBA team executive said, Dolan declined to comment. Yeah, he better. Yo, if you put your name on this, yo, what's up? What's good? Hey, yo, NBA, man, where, where our money at, WNBA? What's up? What's up? Snap, snap, where our money? Yo, do you yeah, they yo, know, you would never get any good press. Your name would taste like mud in every analyst, every sports reporter's mouth for the next 20 years. An NBA spokesman said WNBA officials, including detailed reports on revenue and expenses, are shared with both the NBA's and WNBA's Board of Governors. Mm. That is somewhat BS. They are consolidating it with NBA financials. <laughs> By consolidating numbers, you don't have a break out of any of them. So basically, they're hiding it. It's like... <laughs> Yo, it's like you dating a broke chick and y'all, <laughs> and somebody asks you, asks you what's your household income. <laughs> this is a disaster, man. This is a disaster. Um, The fact that they weren't able to parlay Caitlin Clark's international fame into a red scent is a failure that needs to be studied. Monumental, epic proportions. Um, shame on them, man. Shame on them. In the comment section, hit the like button. Peace. I'm out of here.